Hey guys, what is up? Dark Tri coming at you with another Minecraft video. In this video, I'll be giving a review of the World of Kralis Townie server. The IP for the server is play.kralis.net. And if you type slash server townie, it will take you straight here. So if you're not familiar with what a townie server is, it's basically where you build with your friends, uh, you build towns together, you purchase plots from the town owner so that you're the only one that can build on the plot. Uh, besides your friends, you add to the plot and then the mayor of the town. Most townie servers have very little PvP. And one unique thing about World of Corrales is that it's more PvP oriented because on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday there is PvP activated everywhere except for spawns, the spawn and donor farm and things like that basically. Uh, so all towns it's activated. So you you can get raided but it, people can't destroy your chest and stuff still but you can still get attacked at your base. PvP is always activated in the wilderness area, which is anywhere that's not claimed by anything. So PvP is always activated. So basically, Townie's uh, more laid-back factions kind of server, in my opinion. So anyone can start their own town uh, with a little bit of money, um, or you, anyone can try to join someone else's town. Uh, so let's start by showing you a little bit of the spawn. If you go to the right here, we have the staff and builders room. Here are the heads of all the staff and builders of the server. And right across from that you have the rules and info room. I'm not really going to go in there right now because I don't want to have to read off all the rules to you, but if you do join the server, go check those out. And if you go a little bit further past all this, uh, you get to the warp area. So here you can right click the signs to warp to wherever you want to. We have the desert, forest, jungle, mesa, nether, end, and the mall. Uh, you can also just type in slash warp and then the location, so like a desert, and you'll start teleporting there. So if we go back this way and we go to the left of the spawn way, Right there's the spawn, so up here to the left. We have the crate zone, which you can open crates. Uh, if you vote, if you just type slash vote, click the link, uh, click yes and all that, and then go vote. Every day you get a voting key, and then you just uh, use it right here. It'll give you a couple other keys, and use the specific keys towards the specific chest, and you will get a little random goodie. And across from here is the admin shop. This is where you can buy and sell a few select items. Uh, the selling options are very limited. It's just these uh, 12 items right here. So there aren't many items you can really sell to the admin shop. And down below there are items you can purchase. And there's quite a few items you can purchase here. But I recommend doing all your buying and selling either through the mall, which is player owned shops, or through auctions. Uh, which the server has, and if you just type slash awk, it'll give you a, a little bit of a broader perspective on that if you're not familiar with those. And then the uh, last thing I want, really want to show you, I guess, is the enchanting zone. Uh, this is where I do all my enchanting, mainly because I, uh, I do a lot of enchanting and repairing. Uh, so when you repair, obviously your anvils break after a while, and I would run through so many. And you can just press the button right there, and it repairs it or spawns a new anvil which is pretty useful. So if you go straight from the spawn location uh, in either direction really, so if you go right and then just go all the way straight or left and all the way straight, uh, you will get to the wilderness drop off location. So this is the uh, getting closer I should say to the area where you can build and all that. But I would recommend uh, if you're just joining the server just to warp to a location either like the desert the end the forest somewhere uh, where you can start getting a little bit further outside away from the spawn but here you can drop down pvp is activated once you fall off so now i could be attacked so next i'm going to show you the mall so if we just type slash mall or slash warp mall it will take us directly there so this is the mall. Here players can buy plots for $5,000 and set their own shop up inside. Uh, there's only one plot per player. 
the uh, in the plots you can have up to 20 signs for shops and there's the $75 uh, tax fee for uh, every day so here you can just kind of see people have built their shops they have things that they're selling you can just left click by it uh, if you're not familiar with the quick shop plugin you can just uh, check out my other video on that and that will kind of help you get a better idea of how to use it and some certain commands but here you can just kind of see what some things some people have built it uh, there's some pretty nice builds here you can buy a wide variety of items there's someone who even built a statue of themselves that would be Yorkie there's just a bunch of little unique buildings I guess this is a great place to come and buy stuff you need or sell stuff you need so now I'm going to show you the donor farm to get here you just type slash df or slash warp df and that will take you to the donor farm and the donor farm is only available to donators uh, any donator rank coal all the way to legend and it's uh, it's really worth you know donating even just like to get the coal rank which is just five dollars and that'll give you access to this place but as you can see uh, there is the aggro mob area over here there's zombies skeletons uh, spiders and creepers over here as well as the enchanting table uh, as you can see there's no crafting table because once you're a rank you just have slash craft so that is the aggro mob area it's a great way to get XP bones arrows all this string all the stuff you need uh, but it doesn't give you money that's the only bad thing about that area and over here is the passive mobs so you have cows pigs sheep chickens great way to get food and wool and the passive mobs actually do give you money and in this area we have the obsidian farm uh, it's just a big chunk of obsidian you can mine makes it pretty easy to get it and over here we have the tree farm if, uh, if there's not any logs here you can just right click the sign and it'll spawn it in and you can get to cut that's pretty much it for the donor farm it's just a really useful way to get some extra supplies and make uh, make some simple things a little bit easier for you and less time consuming so that basically wraps it up for this video. I don't really want to show any um, town reviews or anything like that because I'm doing individual videos on those. That way, you know, if I were to do town reviews in this, it would probably take quite a while. And so I recommend if you're new here, not going to uh, this this place and then opening that chest. So if you have any questions about the server or uh, anything you want to ask me, just leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you liked the video and it helped you kind of understand what the server is and I hope you join the server. Uh, the IP will be in the description box below if you just want to copy that over and I will catch you guys in the next video.